be sharing some eight tips to absolutely crush it with Facebook Live videos. But hey, if we've never met before, my name is Anthony Saltarelli, and I've been helping people crush it online, you know, brand themselves, and start creating that momentum that they need to get to where they want to. Okay, so if this video uh, is something that you think that somebody uh, that you know could benefit from, be sure to tag them in the comments below. You know, give me a thumbs up, and you know, I'll get. I want want to share this video really quick here. So you know, let me know where you're watching from in the comments below. I'd love to know where you're coming from, where my audience is, and you know, just so that. I know where you guys are watching from. I know I've got an international audience. You know, I've got people from Australia. I've got people from uh, the Netherlands. Uh, we've got people from all over the place. So just let me know where you're watching from. And um, I'm going to be talking, you know, quite a bit about how to a new strategy that I actually just learned on how to crush it with Facebook Live, okay? And you know, like I said, I just learned this strategy, so it's something that I'm going to be implementing going forward in my business, and I hope that you will be too. Um, I know you're gonna get a lot of value from tonight's content, so be sure to take some notes and you know stick with me. All right, so let's get started. So, Eight tips to crush it with Facebook Live. Tip number one, create a compelling or interesting title. Okay, you know, interest grabbing title. And you know, when people see your live video, you're gonna have about, you know, five to 10 seconds to grab their attention uh, so that they'll want to, you know, continue watching. So it's really important to, create a you know a good title for your video something that will peak uh, peaks people's attention right they'll want to watch uh, learn more about what you're what you're saying right the second tip is to create a hook in your video right when you're when you're first starting out in those first you know critical five to ten seconds when you first started your video you know say something to grab your viewers attention and you know it can just be you know reiterating what your title is you know saying something like you know if you're doing a video on you know um, dog grooming uh, you can say tonight we're going to be sharing some awesome tips on how to groom your dog or something of that nature you know whatever your target audience is create something that will pique their attention and make them want to keep listening right okay and also, when you're doing your live video, you're going to want to, you know, create your live with rebroadcast in mind. Okay, a lot of people, and you know, I used to do this too. And like I said, I just learned this new strategy. And you know, a lot of people, when they jump on their live, uh, they're like, um, you know, they grab their phone. They're like. Uh, Am I live? Can 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 you can anybody see me? You know they're they're checking. Hey, am I? I think I'm live. And you know when you're first when you're going live and you're building a live video for a rebroadcast. When you start doing that, that's when people are going to lose interest and you know move on. And that's not something that you want to happen, right? Because on a Facebook Live, um, the majority of the views uh, can be on the replay. So you definitely want to tailor your live for the replay. Okay. And then you want to, tip number three is establish authority. You know, establish rapport with your audience. Okay. So after you, you know, give your hook, you can be like, but hey, you know, if, if we've never met before, my name is, and I do. And then you know you give them just a brief overview of what you do, why they should listen listen to what you have to say, right? Okay. And tip number four is encourage engagement. Okay. 
So if you're finding you know, value in what I've been telling you so far, go ahead and leave a comment below. You know, tag somebody in the comments. You know, give me, give me some love. Hit the like button. Um, that is an example of, you know, encouraging engagement. Facebook will expand your reach based on how much engagement you have on your video, right? So the more engagement you get, the more reach you will have in future videos and in that current video, uh, the more they will display it to, you know, more people on your friends list, right? Um, you know, call to comment. You know, hey, leave me a comment if, you, if you're enjoying the content, you know, if you're finding it helpful, just shoot me a little comment below, drop a comment. Um, you know, let me know where you're watching from. And, you know, that's an example of a call to comment, right? Because it's important to get people to engage with your video, to leave comments. You know, when I'm finished with this video, I will come back and I will continue engaging with people that are leaving comments, right? So regardless of whether it's on the replay or it's live, um, I will make sure that people that leave comments, I engage with them, right? That helps your, that helps your viewability of your video, right? The, that helps your exposure, okay? And number six is content, okay? Once you start the content section, don't stop, right? A lot of people like to give shout outs uh, when people jump onto their lives. And, you know, that's something that should be done in either the beginning of your live video or at the end. Once you start the content section, you don't want to stop and, you know, break off and acknowledge people that are coming on. You want to do that at the end or the beginning, right? And, you know, some keys to creating valuable content is number one, add value with your content. Is it something that is going to create value to your target audience? Is it something, you know, that is actionable for your target audience? Is it something they can go and act on in their, you know, their own business? Um, is it strong content? Is it something, you know, that will be viable for, you know, a little, a while to come, right? Um, and also a Facebook Live, I was just reading that the ideal length of a Facebook Live is around 18 minutes, right? So during that 18 minute um, video, you, you're gonna want to leave five to seven calls to comment during that broadcast, right? So if you're, you know, you're finding uh, value in this, in this live, you know, drop me a comment below, let me know. And, um, you know, I appreciate the engagement and I will be sure to, you know, jump in and interact with you guys after this live is finished. Right? So that's an example of a call to comment. So like I said earlier, the more engagement you get on that video, the more people like it, the more people love it. Um, you know, the more uh, wow faces you get, um, Facebook will move, they'll bump that exposure up for your video. So the more people will view it, right? Uh, number seven is the call to action. Now, this is something that you're going to want to have you know, pre-planned uh, before you started your live. Uh, it could be, you know, check out uh, this free course. It could be, I've got a cheat sheet for you that I'd like you to go download. It could be, hey, I'm gonna be doing another live um, next week at the same time, so be sure to jump on. Um, you know, it could be, let me know what topics you would like me to cover in future lives. Uh, those are all examples of excellent calls to engagement. Okay, so that's something you're going to want to be doing over the course of your lives as well. Uh, number eight is a kind of, it's optional. Uh, not too many people are doing it. It's a call, it's a Q&A, right? So question and answer. So, you know, at this time, if anybody that's hopped on has any questions, uh, be sure to, you know, comment and I will you know, take the time to answer them. So that's an example of a you know, Q and A. Now, when you're first starting out, uh, you may not have a very big audience. In fact, you may have no audience at all when you're live, but that's okay because 
know, as you get more exposure, uh, as you keep doing it consistently, you'll start to build that loyal following. And then you can start hopping into, you know, Q&A sessions um, at the end of your video, right? Answering questions and interacting uh, live with your audience, okay? Uh, another tip is if you're just starting out, um, you can actually target your live with Facebook ads, okay? And, you know, this is, this is a great way to gain exposure, um, generate leads for your business. Uh, because, you know, if you're doing like one or two Facebook lives a week, uh, you can run Facebook ads for those. And then you can, you know, typically if you're doing it right, it's under one cent a view. And so imagine the amount of exposure you can get just from that. All those people are watching your video, interacting with you, and, you know, they're finding the value that you're providing and they'll be back for, you know, to check out future lives. So that's an excellent way to get started at building your audience. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that 85% of Facebook uh, video is watched without sound. I know that's a little stunning, right? It was for me when I heard that statistic, but 85% um, of video on Facebook is watched without sound. So if you're doing Facebook Lives, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you do those lives from your Facebook page, right? People have a profile and then they have a business page, right? So if you do those lives from your page, you're going to have a lot more options. Um, you're going to have analytics options, you know, where you can see where your traffic is coming from, who's watching your video. And, you know, you can optimize it to create more exposure with that video, right? Um, you're also given the option if you are doing lives from your page to change the, you know, the image that is shown uh, when people are looking at your live so that, you know, the preview, you, you, can, you can change that image. Uh, you can actually create your own custom one if you wanted to. So that expands, you know, the, the number of views that you'll get. It's kind of like YouTube, right? You create, you know, custom covers for your videos so that people will see that and they'll want to check it out, right? Well, you can do that with Facebook Live too from your business page, okay? And, you know, like I was saying, 85% of Facebook videos watched without sound. Well, you can create captions for your videos as well. So even if you just, you know, did the first, you know, 30 seconds of your video and created some captions for that, people, you know, when they're on their when they're at work or whatever and they don't want to have the sound on, they're watching your video um, without sound, they can read those captions and be like, hmm, this is something I want to check out. And so I'm going to bookmark that and come back and watch it when I have a moment. So that's another thing that you can do. And, you know, that'll start uh, jump-starting your engagement because all those people that are watching without sound will actually know what you're saying, right? And they'll want to come back and check you out later. So, you know, those are some basic tips to, you know, getting some massive exposure with Facebook Live. Like I said, I'm going to be doing that format going forward. I just learned about this today in a training that I was watching. So I'm pretty excited about it. I just wanted to let you all uh, know about it. Uh, thanks, uh, Corinne, for jumping on. And we'll see you all tomorrow. So I appreciate everybody jumping on and have a great evening. And we'll see you on tomorrow's live.